Welcome to another example of time value of money. In this example, we'll take a look at sinking fund. Vabhav Goel is planning for his retirement. He is 45 years old today and would like to have rupees 300,000 or 3 lakhs when he attains the age of 60. He intends to deposit a constant amount of money at 12% each year in the public provident fund in the State Bank of India to achieve his objective. How much money should Vabhav invest at the end of each year for the next 15 years to attain rupees 3 lakhs at the end of that period. So let's draw a time scale. Let's say this is the zeroth year when Webhub is 45 years old. So this represents 45 years old. And this here represents the 15th year when Webhub becomes 60 years old. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. At the end of 15 years, Webhub wants to get an amount of rupees 300,000. The rate of interest he is going to get is 12%. Also, he wants to make the deposits at the end of each of the years of an equal amount. So he wants to find out what should be that amount that he should deposit so that he can get 300,000 rupees at the end of 15 years or when he is 60 years old. So this is a typical case of sinking fund where we know what is our goal or what is the future value and we want to find out the annuity amount. Now since this person web of Goel is depositing the amount at the end of every year this can be considered as an ordinary annuity. So we'll use the formula for future value of an ordinary annuity to find out the annuity amount here. So the formula is the future value is equal to annuity into 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 divided by i. Let's plug in the value. So future value is 300,000. A is to be found out. 1 plus i is 12%. So 0.12. n is the number of periods which is 15 minus 1 divided by i which is 0 0.12 or 300,000 is equal to a into let's calculate this value so 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 x to the power y which is 15 minus 1 divided by 0.12 so this is 37.279 so let's round it off to two decimal points so 37.28 or let's have a on one side so a is equal to 300,000 divided by 37.28 so 300,000 divided by 37.28 so 8047.21 so 8047.21 rupees so this is the amount of annual payment which Webhub should be depositing at 12% per annum 
in order to get rupees 300,000 at the end of the next 15 years. Now in this method we use the formula for finding out the future value of an ordinary annuity. Now there are multiple methods to solve problems regarding sinking funds and these multiple methods have been discussed in the video for the fundamentals of sinking funds.